I am doing some planting on the fish farm, you know. We have, so far, we have about 35 standard 18 ponds on the farm. The least size of them all is the one that measures 10 meters by 10 meters and the depth is about 1.7 meters and 35 so far. We still have enough land to do more ponds, but for now, we are working with the 35 ponds that we have. So for some months now, because I spend a lot of money keeping the farm clean, using herbicides, getting laborers to clear the bushes on the farm. So I've decided to be planting plantains and some oranges, coconut and galva with things like um, the avocado. So this is what I've been planting for some time. We've planted over 500 suckers of plantains and you can see they are all doing well and we are still going to plant more. I want to plant planting everywhere so that I will reduce the money I spend on clearing and maintaining the farm because each time I want to clear this farm I spend between 80,000 to 100,000 just to clear the farm. So and when I get one bunch of plantain I can sell for like 5,000 to 6,000. So if I'm able to plant a lot of plantains, the money I will make from the plantains, I can use to reduce the cost I spend on clearing the bushes on the farm. So I got myself about 50 seedlings of the big orange, and which I'm planting today. Come and see our plantains. They are doing well. I even told the guys that they should plant suckers, any little space that they see. Any little space, they should just be planting. Because when you farm, when you farm fish on a pond and you are feeding the fish, the, the poops from the fish always makes the surrounding soil to be fertile. That is why, all, that is why you see all the plantains doing well without even us needing to use fertilizers for the plantain. You see, the plantain, I've planted some gava. This is gava. So the reason why I'm putting these old car tires is because when the guys that want to help me use cutlass to clear the land i don't want them to cut up the things that i struggle to plant so i think this one is growing by itself because i was not the one that planted it this is i can't remember this i think it's orange or i think this is shadok yes it's shadok yes and here yeah. I have planting is doing well. This is the one I planted about two years ago. This is Mexican purple. They call this one sarsap. So, and here also we planted a lot of stuffs. You can see this is what I hate most. You know, when the planting grows, it brings out too many suckers. So I keep telling the guys to, to help me remove the suckers as much as they can and they should be replanting it. The only sucker that you should use is just one that is far away from the mother plant. So you just want to fill up everywhere the planting. So I got this one from a friend. According to him, he said, he used to bring out two, two bunch at a time, but to my surprise, he's bringing out just one. I don't know what is wrong with it. Another one I have here, this is this is a dwarf banana. I'm waiting on this one to have lots of suckers. 